Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Okami HD. This is Camo Wolf. How you guys all doing? <clears throat> Alright, if you guys remember at the end of last episode I was looking for those two treasure chests on this island so I decided to just camp out here and uh, take a nap under this tree while the cherry blossoms fall and this nice sunset and just uh, wait it out. It should be night any moment now. In which case I will then be able to see where those pesky chests are because I just can't find them otherwise. I do not believe that they have uh, those little nubs sticking out of the ground as some of the chests do during the daytime, but these ones just seem not to, so rather than digging around aimlessly <clears throat> while it's day out, I'll just wait for nighttime to fall. There we go. Okay, and perfect. There we go. Dig up this guy first. Boom. Okay, and here we have the Infinity Stone. Ink Stone with Limitless Source. Temporarily enjoy infinite ink. Yeah, so you can use that thing, and it will give you a temporary supply of uh, infinite ink. It can come in handy sometimes, I suppose, if you're in a big fight. And yes, another stray bead. Just what we needed. Okay. My lily pad trail is still down here, so I'll just reuse that. Bah. Bah. Oh, man, I need to... Not gonna make it. It was just too much. Too much of a jump. Good enough on the way there, but not on the way back. It would seem... Alright. Actually, I'm gonna change it to day here in a moment, just because... I don't know. Things are generally easier during the day, except for getting treasure chests, which of course is harder. What's that? Oh, it's the constellation. That's kind of cool. You can see the constellations at nighttime. Makes sense, I suppose. Alright, so there's just one last thing I want to do before leaving town and going out on our next journey. And that is, of course, buying more feed bags. Yep, I have. Somebody sent their wolf to go shop for them. Alright, how many do I have? Uh, I'm going to stock up just for a nice clean round number. I'll get ten of each. Except for fish, because not as many things eat fish. Uh, zero meat, okay. And then... I'll just get five fish. Okay, and that took up quite a bit of yen, but I haven't sold any of my treasures yet, so... Let's do that. Yeah, this will get me some cash. Mm hmm. Coral fragment, don't need that. Bullhorn, don't need that. Rat statue, don't need that. Okay, so yeah, that pretty much covered the cost of all those feed bags. So that's pretty sweet. Because those treasures won't be doing us anything else worthwhile. Alright, so now we're back in Shinsu Field, if you remember. We have determined that Agata Forest is where we're going to go. It looks really kind of gloomy on here right now. I don't know why. It's like, it's overcast or something. Just kind of, oh, running into a wall there. I don't know. It seemed sunnier out on this field before. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Pot. Ooh, another feed bag. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, at any rate, now, yes, I've fed you horses. Ugh. Okay, so, now that we have our marvelous lily pad power, we don't need no stinking fairy to get over to a god of forest. We can just draw our way there with lily pads. Because we obviously have nowhere near enough life to swim into there, because... Can't really last very long just swimming, because your little uh, life thing there goes down pretty quick. <laughs> I guess I might as well talk about something else while I'm just lily padding my way down here. What? Oh no, my ink pots. My beautiful ink pots. I forgot about that. Uh, I guess that's something to watch. I guess that an infinity stone could come in handy right about now. But I don't really want to use it, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it the slower way, I suppose, and wait for my ink pots to replenish. 
Yeah, no. Oh, man, I kind of charged the ceiling there. January is almost over, and I gotta tell you guys, I am pretty excited for that. January has not been a kind month here in Winnipeg. It's been extremely cold. Too cold for my liking. Though, you know what? Today wasn't bad. Today was only like minus... probably around minus 12 or 15, somewhere around there. Not bad at all. <clears throat> compared to uh, last week when it was like minus 40 every day. God, that was just miserable. Alright, anyway, here we are in Nagata Forest. Yes, it is cursed, just like Hannah Valley was. Yeah, the curse gun is expanded into the forest. Nope. Grass and trees do do pretty awesome things, but they don't shun curses. Alright, so here we are. It's a pretty big area here in Nagata Forest. Um... Let's, let's examine this. Yeah, so there's a place to rest here. Yeah. No time to rest for us, though. No rest for the wicked, as they say. We've got to cure this cursed zone. And the best way to do that is to go down over here to this little beachy area. Where, obviously, I don't want to walk in there. Oh, no, I walked in the cursed zone. I guess as soon as it gets gray and dirty like that, it's the cursed zone. Yeah, so we see all these people over there, but we can't even talk to them. So let's go this way. And yes, there's a nice house here, as well as a minerally rock. Mm -hmm. What's a house doing in this cave? That's a good question. It's a pretty badass looking house, I gotta say, though. Yes, those chests are on fire. You cannot get them yet. They will hurt you. Yeah, that's a pretty sick house. <coughs> Just gotta say got like an evil deer head. Um, yeah, let's save. Why not? Why not? Do do do. Saving the game. All right. Let's go check out what's in this house. Could be something evil. I don't know. It's kind of an evil looking house. Ooh, a chest. I like that. Bam. Another stray bead. Yeah. Getting stray beads all over the place right now. Ooh. Just itching to see what the special reward is, eh? Oh. Madam Fawn. Yeah, I guess she's got fawn, like, skulls all over the place. Ha ha ha. You've come, White Wolf, and you look troubled. You may call me Madam Fawn. I read bones to see the future. I knew you would come. I saw it in a vision. Kinda creepy old lady here. Bone reader Madame Fawn, or Madame Fawn, rather. It looks like the world outside is in a great chaos. This is not to say that it was not predestined to happen. However, this year is special. This is the 100th year since Nagi and Shirinui's adventure. You saw the enormous cursed area on your way here, did you not? Land rendered barren, all who approach tainted by darkness. Only one creature possesses the power to control this, Orochi. Even so, the rate at which it spreads, incredible. The curse can only be lifted by restoring the guardian saplings. Perhaps you will encounter one hidden here in Agata Forest. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. Like I told you, I am a fortune teller. The bones reveal all. If you have money, I can even tell your future, Wolf. Interested? No, I'm not really interested. Sorry, lady. Come back any time you're in need of my services. Ha ha ha! Yeah, she's a weird old lady. I'm gonna hit her gong. <clears throat> but yeah, we. So yeah, basically, if you need a tip from her, um. You can get there. I'm not going to get it just because, like, I don't know. Why would I really? Anywho, time to head over here. There's not really much else we need here. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you want to get in there, but you can't do it. Anywho, 
we need to go out here and find us something nice without her help. Uh. 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 There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Stairs are for suckers, am I right? I'm gonna just try and avoid these battles. I don't really need to do them at the moment. Uh. Oh, is this all cursed up here? I thought... Uh. Oh, I'm running into cursings all over the place. Maybe I have to... Huh. I'm pretty sure where I need to go is not in that cave. Like, maybe it's back over this way. Ah, yes, that's where I want to go. Down there. Um, I wonder if I can fall down from up top here. That waterfall is essentially where we're looking to go. Is it all cursed back here? Uh, run, Okami. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you can get in and out of the curse zone. Uh, I guess you could just go all the way through the curse zone, but I like my method better. Of just hopping out from top. Anyway, so yeah, you go in this little waterfall, and then there's a crack here. So just plant yourself a bomb, blow it up, and hooray, we've found the guardian sapling. So what do we do with the guardian sapling? We bloom that bitch. So just get a nice big blooming circle around it, and huzzah! We have now saved Agata Forest. Well, it's not quite saved yet, but it's a good step in the right direction. Yes, much like Hannah Valley, it's going to be an explosion of life taking over that cursed zone. I don't like curses in my forests. I like them to flourish with life and creatures and fresh water. And all that can't be there with a curse. So yes, now that a forest is in its once former glory, or at least almost back to that. You know, it's not quite perfect yet, but it's better. It's a big step. Excellent. All that praise. You know what? I should really use that praise for something. I've just been completely neglecting that. I could definitely level up by now. Sweet. The devout beads. A new divine instrument guarded by a guardian sapling, eh? Hey? Yep, she's going to spoil us. She treats us well. Anyways, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. The monster's going to try, and then, uh, you know, we can equip a good divine instrument. So basically what he's saying here is, um, now that we have two weapons, and we will get more, um, we can... Uh, we can basically choose um, whether to uh, use it as a main or a sub-instrument. So personally, I kind of like having the devout beads as my main instrument right now. So I'm going to put <coughs> the Devout Beads as my main instrument, and then I'm going to put the Divine Retribution as my sub-instrument. Uh, just, it really depends on, I guess, how you like your battle style, but... I mean, I guess you guys will see what it's like with the beads, but I like I really like the bead weapons. Yep. It acts as a shield when equipped as a sub-weapon. So yeah, and also, yeah, you can use the Divine Retribution as a shield. Oh, uh, yes, I don't. I mean, I do remember what you said. Yeah, so yeah, if there's there's going to be new guardian fruit on the um, tree back in Kamiki Village. So whenever whenever life brings us back there again... Oh man, there's so many animals around here to feed, but first I'm going to get this clover. And... bloomed. Okay, rabbits, where'd you go? Yeah, yes, I know what you want. You want some herbs. Rabbits love herbs. Frickin' when rabbits get in your garden, eat all your herbs. I don't know if that ever happens to anyone. I don't even know if it's ever actually happened to me, but that's just what I think of for some reason. I feel like there's probably some Looney Tune episode where that happens. Anyhow, um, I suppose oh, well weird camera change there. Alright, no more curse zone, so getting out of this waterfall will be a whole lot easier. Kind of just run along the edge here, I suppose. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, what's this? A cutscene? Hmm. Who's playing that looming flute? Oh, 
Oh, man. Who's that dude? Hark, the call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Waka, the god's gift to man, is here. Bonjour. Doubt Master Waka. I like his eagle hat. He's a pretty good flautist, too. He plays a nice haunting flute. That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back. You look kind of weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. Hey, think you're so special way up there, huh? He is pretty high up. I wonder how he got all the way up there. Get down here and take talk face to... Wait, did he say crimson shading? Can he see Ami's true form? Yeah, he must be able to if he can see it. I don't just look like a white wolf to him. Oh man, what a jump! Whoa. This dude's got talent. Yeah, we're like, what the fuck? Oh snap. His flute turns into a sword. Hey, he drew a sword. Yeah, out of a flute. Crazy man. We. Oui, this is how I get my point across. Pun intended. Pfft. What a frickin'. So full of himself. The moment the curse zone started spreading across Nihon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword, Sukuyomi, flee into Kamiki Village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. You guys know anything about that? No, actually, we don't. This guy gives me the creeps. Better keep your eyes on him. Yeah, he is a bit of a creeper. He also looks pretty dangerous, though. I don't know. Hmm? Getting all worked up again? Yeah, we're doing that crazy exhale thing. Magnifique. Magnifique. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, you shall get an earful of my beloved sword. An earful? God, he's gonna stab us in the ear? Behold, pillow talk. Man, what's he doing? Oh, snap! This guy looks like he means business. Two swords? Oh, man. Let's rock, baby. Okay, so this dude means business. He's got two swords, and he can freaking jump from a million feet away. Anyways, this is a... Oh, no! I ran into the pond. No, so you don't want to get... Basically, the key to this battle with this dude is you don't want to get close to him. You want to stay far from him, long-range battle, and, okay, when he throws a dagger like that, I screwed it up there. No, don't use... If you get too close to him, he'll use that pillow talk attack he was talking about, and we don't want that. Anyway. Oh, that's what I like about the beans. You can get, like, mad. Okay, so basically he's going to throw a dagger across. If you slash it... Okay, I missed there. But ideally, if he throws a dagger like this, if you slash the dagger... Okay. Apparently not. It's supposed to... When you slash the dagger, it's supposed to um, just fire it back at him, and it'll stun him. Let's try this again. Yeah, like that. It worked that time. Anyway, and then with these bees, you can just freaking get outrageous combos going on him. That's why I like... Oh, wrong. Wrong thing. So yeah, basically this battle... Oh my god. Apparently, I suck at doing that, though. But yeah, no, this battle should not be that difficult if you just keep your distance. But if you get close up to him, he is definitely... He is definitely a close-range specialist. Okay, I didn't think that one through. You don't want to be that far away. You need to be at least on this land, because... Um, if he's too far out, then you can't hit him. But yeah, no, these bees are sick. Bead instruments are frickin' where it's at. Like... Look at that crazy combos I'm getting going. And then, yeah, that's your shield. If you press triangle with that, uh, yeah, it does that shield move. And that can come in handy very occasionally. To be honest, I don't do it much. But, uh, you know, he's dead. Well, not dead. It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power, Amaterasu. Ah, so he knows who I am and he's still trying to fight me? I thought you said you were a gift from the gods, man. Not a gift from me, that's for damn sure. That's enough for now. Too late now. You're the one who picked the fight. Yeah, it's true. Hey, wait, you know this guy, Ami? Ha 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 ha. 
Well, that was pretty tactless. Excusez-moi, baby. You see, I was looking into that curse zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. Yeah, kind of already assumed that, buddy. Uh, Orochi? Well, I guess maybe we didn't assume it. I assumed it. Do not utter that name without reason. He's like Voldemort. That alone could curse the weak of mind. Orochi was slain a hundred years ago by Nagi and Shirinui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave, which I guarded. You know the cave in the middle of the lake, over on Shinsu Field? Yeah, we kind of tried to go in there before. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Sukuyomi. The beast's evil has caused a curse zone to cover these lands. I never thought the sacred sword could be so easily removed. Yeah, you think it'd be better sealed. Whoever did it waited until I was back in the capital. It seems things are afoot that even I did not prophesize. Man, you can just. <laughs> We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. That's right. Your story is so boring, I fell asleep during it. Thought Roach was gonna be mincemeat once we're through with it. <laughs> yeah, he's all pissed off that he woke him up. So you're the ones who revived the trees in this area. But a lot of time's passed since Orochi's return. You'd better pick up the pace, Marshery. What? I'm sorry to say, our battle just now was a big disappointment. Aw oh, man, I kicked your butt. You're not what you're used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but one cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your 100 year slumber. That's enough, yeah man. You can't just talk about us like that. Now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki. Yeah, that does seem suspicious. How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. I foresee a log and big thrills. You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Au revoir, baby. Yeah, that dude's weird. I don't know, man. I also gave him a pretty weird voice. I don't know. What a freak. Who the heck does he think he is? Hey, wake up, Amy. Yeah, we just <laughs> slept through that whole thing. Critically, just don't even care. I'm just a wolf. Alright. Oh, we got pretty weak time. Oof. It's like a dead sap. Whatever. For damage, we did good, though. Let's rock, baby. Trophy. I can only assume that trophy is for beating Waka. Um. Oh. Uh, I'm dying in the water. Uh, I'm gonna go back and save because there's really not much else I can get accomplished because I'm already getting close to 25 minutes here. <coughs> Got a fair amount accomplished in this episode though, I feel. We met Waka, the strange plate flute, strange flute playing prophet. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh, there's rabbits here. Yeah, I'll feed them. Rap is everywhere, man. Actually, you know what I will do quickly before saving is use all this praise I keep saying I'm going to do it, and then I keep forgetting. No more. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? Uh, no, I don't really need any more purse ability. Oh, I'm three away from being able to do that. I'll do this one first. 
Okay, sweet. Yeah, next time I'll do solar energy, but I've been running out of ink pots a bit lately, so it seemed like the right thing to do. Anyway, now uh, let's save. But yeah, Waka, he's a weird dude, although he can play that flute very, I don't know, hauntingly, if that's a word. Pretty cool, though. If I had a flute that turned into like a laser sword, I don't know. It'd be pretty sweet. But it does also seem like he's kind of a pompous ass. So that's no good. Anywho, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Okami HD. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you next time. And have a good night. Bye now.